Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie John. I missed y'all so much. Oh my God, I missed y'all so much. Whew, child, let's get into it. So I had gone on the universal 24 hour fast, right? I decided to fast from social media. At first, it was real easy because I was in, I'm in a new place. I had to, I'm trying, I'm doing a new thing and I had to really focus. So my focus wasn't like, where can I film? Am I going to have time? My focus was on what I was doing, right? I did the call at noon. Uh, I'm on the East Coast and the prayer was so good and it was about distractions. And I was like, you know what? Like, it was profound. And I would get notifications, but I didn't really look at them. And I saw somebody that said, can you come back for eight minutes, right? I really love that. But this was good. But in the wake of all of this, Martel Hope went live. Martel Hope went live. Child. Okay. So I had to go to Empress Radio. Shout out to Empress because I had to go. I knew she was going to have it. Girl, I went over there and I got a little of it. So let's just get into it. Hey, listen, that's why I came live because I heard that um, we were supposed to be, I was supposed to be in some type of facility or something. No. No. Uh, um, honestly, apparently it was, really, it was really serious because uh, my sister, my girl, Destiny, she called me. And I didn't answer a couple times when I, I returned a call and she was, she was crying. She was literally crying. She thought that I was um, in a, like a mental, mental institution or something like that. Guys, no. I am not crazy. So listen, stuff that y'all hear, don't go for it. Like I said, it was alleged, right? So if he wasn't there, then he wasn't there. We don't know, right? He said he's out with the kids. He has uh, Mariah at tennis practice. Um... Mel had taken Tank to his practice, and he was just out with the kids. But then, he pops out. She pops out. Hold on. So, Ariel made this post in her um, story on Instagram. Gotta put your kids first in real life, not just for the internet. Now, just here lately, like, she was over there on the TikTok, and she was liking some little song two girls were singing about breaking up with their boyfriends. Uh, she said, this is what me and my friends do or something like that. So it's not all rainbows and peaches over there with Martell and Ariane Curry. So ain't no telling what's going on, child. Because he may be over there trying to talk to Sheree, and ain't no telling what's going on. But hold on. But then I saw this in Kiki's uh, story, right? Have not heard from Kiki in a month of Sunday. I'm glad to know she's here, good, and all that. But this says when they're making jokes but don't realize they're about to be the real joke or know how you're about to have the biggest laugh of your entire life, hashtag, oh, just wait for it, hashtag, coming soon, hashtag, Team Kiki, I can't wait, hashtag, Kiki Jabbar. Like, what in the world are you talking about, Kiki? What is going on? Oh, my God. Then I log on and I realize there's some riff with some content creators, right? I'm not gonna discuss who they are. If you follow along, you know exactly who I'm talking about. I really hate to hear it, but I hope that it can kind of smooth itself out. Let's keep going. Child and Glorilla is at the CMT Awards. What is Glorilla doing at the CMT Awards? Did you see that coming? Is that on your bingo card? Is she on the Beyonce album? Like, what is going on? Like, I'm not saying she can't go. I'm not saying that. But I just didn't see this happening. Let's keep going. Looks like Andy Cohen is fed up, right? And you could tell he was fed up on the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. Because it was just the way he was leading those conversations, right? Andy Cohen says the way Real Housewives of New Jersey has filmed this year with no interactions between Teresa, Melissa, or Margaret will not be suitable for the future of the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Like, he is tired, right? You're supposed to be these women on here having these experiences, you know, have a little tiff or something over an outfit or um, a little rumor, but fix that up. But these ladies not even talking. Melissa... First of all, I'm tired of Teresa I, and Margaret. 
But I get Andy. He's tired of all of it together. Y'all better get it together. Then JT and Young Miami going at it. Young Miami feels like JT's past two songs are kind of sneak dissing her, right? And she was like, she still kind of clapped for her. She said, I ain't jealous of a soul. I'm always like, go girl, go. I clap for everybody. I show love to everybody. It ain't a girl I haven't shown love to. Oh my God. Then JT come at, like, girl, what songs are about you? Then she names them, No Bars and Sideways. But then JT says, I know I come off a little crazy, but never in my life did I do no whack stuff to this girl. She literally enjoys seeing me being dragged. When people show me love, she goes crazy and call it a hate train. But like I said, we can talk and so we can sit and talk about it because she said we're not going to do this on the internet right she said we can have a conversation and she said without santana i understand it because it needs to be between them did, what's going on with the eclipse did the eclipse do this because this is a mess oh my god i was so glad to see this jonathan major escapes jail time in domestic violence sentencing gets la intervention program i am so happy about this so he has probation and he has to do a year-long counseling program, right? But if for any reason he violates any of the sentencing, right, he's going to be put behind bars for 364 days. I don't think that he's going to do that. And Megan Good was right there by his side. So I really hope this pans out for a real situation since he's been tagging her along, right? But you don't need to talk to this woman anymore. I don't know why he would. Let's keep going. Tyler Perry is coming out with a Beauty in Black Netflix series. <sighs> Hold on. I don't know all of these people. I know one or two that have been in his shows before, right? What is, what is Beauty in Black? What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Because I don't know about this. I just don't know. Then child over there on Brandon TV, they have a fight on the final episode of the three part series for Diana Williams, Miss Diana DD4L. Baby, she going through it. Hold on. I'm tired of the disrespect. I was tired of feeling like a failure as a parent, like a failure as a wife, like a failure as a friend. I couldn't give nobody what they needed because I have what the hell I needed. I needed my family, and I was just tired. I just am not, I'm not that. I'm tired of being portrayed as that. So this is over there on Brandon TV, right? She is doing something over there, and it says the final episode, so I don't know if it's over. If you're watching it, let me know how you like it and what's really going on over there. But oh my gosh, let's keep going. Baby, <laughs> Puffy's ex-security guard is on a tell it all tour. Now he's on to Farnsworth Bentley and we've been asking about Farnsworth and this is coming from the morning jukebox, right? What happened to Diddy's umbrella man? He said that he allegedly got fired for stealing J-Lo items while working for Diddy. He said that, you know, J-Lo was not J J Lo. Like she was J Lo, but she wasn't that famous, right? So she wanted these boots in the 90s or something, and they were like five thousand dollars. So Diddy had them sent to his house. He said Diddy had a room with all PR stuff that he hadn't even opened. Child, they say allegedly Farnsworth had not only got J Lo boots, but a lot of things. When they got over to his apartment, the security guard said he witnessed it with his own eyes. He had all kind of stuff over there. He said Farnsworth is an alleged thief. Shout out to Farnsworth with the pink and green umbrella. I love it. Shout out to Baller Alert for covering this. Not CNN changing up the photo for the finals. They show in Iowa when uh, South Carolina State won. Right? They put up Caitlyn, but it should have been putting up Dawn. So now they just switched it out. Who does that? Oh my God. Baby, these topics was piping hot. And I'll say it again. I really did miss y'all. It's your girl, Millie Chan. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>